It's all about the liver. I'm going to talk about some hepatitis today. Yes, I did say hepatitis and not dermatitis. I think one of the reasons why these videos are popular is because, hey, I am what I am, and yeah, I had to have some skin cut off in case it's cancerous. Which, by the way, on our safety stuff, you need to go have yourself checked too because you're out in the sun a lot. But that's not what today's about. It's about hepatitis. Hepatitis is basically about the liver. If there's anything you get from this video today, I want it to be how important the liver is. Without a good healthy liver, you're not going to be a, able to accomplish the things you're trying to accomplish in growing this burn. The liver is responsible for bile production of how it takes in nutrients, gets rid of waste. It's where the metabolism of the vitamins take place. It's where the, some of the immune support is built. And it is also where the blood is detoxed. In other words, it's getting rid of the bad things that are in the blood. So honestly, the liver is important, so important. So hepatitis is going to greatly impair that liver. Now, I'm not a doctor, even though I play one on YouTube, but I'm going to share. There are two basic hepatitis. One you're not hardly ever going to see, but one is the most common. The first one is hydropericardium, I believe it is, syndrome. And that basically means that that virus is going to create a fluid around the heart. Now, that's not a very common one. The main one with the initials IBH are inclusion body hepatitis. So you've seen IBH or you've heard about it. Basically what this does is this virus, which by the way is an adenovirus, and an adenovirus is very common in a poultry environment. But this virus will get into the body, into the cells of that bird. And then when cells reproduce as they do, that virus is in there, that body just reproduces that cell with that same type of virus in it. So we're probably going to do a video before, not before too long on the difference between a virus and bacteria. Sometimes it's like, oh, well, they're all the same. They're not. Bacteria is actually alive and a virus just is a virus. So you kill a bacteria, but you kind of destroy a virus. So this adenovirus gets in, causes havoc. And what happens is it then affects the liver. And that's when the problems start happening. Now, we're not going to go in depth on this whole virus because most of us don't even care. What does hepatitis look like? Well, there's a few things you can look for. Lethargy, um, huddling, decreased feeding, um, ruffling of the feathers, but probably one of the you know, red lights you should see is yellow droppings. Now, if you have seen our Scoop on Poop series that we did a while back, we basically talk about how you can tell a lot by your, about your bird by looking at the droppings. Well, when you see yellow droppings, here's what it means. There is bile backup. So the liver's not doing what it's supposed to do. And as we just talked about, hepatitis is about the liver. So if you see yellow droppings, it could be, not necessarily, but it could be that hepatitis is what you got going on. What we really want to just talk about today is, what can you do about it? And where does it come from? So, let's go back to where does it come from. The, as I said, that virus is very common in a poultry environment. So, most of the times the pullet will build an immunity to that. So, by the time they move over to the breeder house, they are able to pass on that immunity to the birds. But a lot of times, that may not happen. So, you can actually get it from the hen right down to the chick, okay? How else? Well, you can actually bring that virus from another house. There's your biosecurity, cover up, clean off. Another one which really stinks is the fact that wild birds can fly across your farm. It could be roosting on the edge of your chicken house and 
put some droppings down, and if you happen to walk in it, carry it in your house, and you're going to bring it in there. The problem is, once it gets in there, it is hard to get rid of. So there are actually some ways you can theoretically disinfect. Another way is to maybe get rid of all the litter. But one of the things, as you do research and find out, is you will hear vets, professors alike, that'll tell you, once they get it, there's not anything you can do about it. There are some vaccines out there, and I think some integrators may be trying to vaccinate for it, but bottom line is supportive care. So preventative. So what can you do to prevent? Well, if you've got it, there's some things. Disinfect, get it out the litter. Watch what you're doing biosecurity. But probably one of the best things, and this is where a lot of these videos for us always go, is proactive rather than reactive because you really can't react. Um, proactive is going to be, what can we do to build the immune system to help that bird get through it? Because hepatitis is a nasty thing, and the only thing, if you got it, you're gonna have to try to help them get through it. Now, it will usually last about a week, and as I hear people say, hey, I've got hepatitis, and their vets, the doctors will just say, just get through it. I hate it, it sucks, but just get through it. Mortality can be all over the place. They can actually get it anywhere from four days old up until about six weeks old. So there are some things, building immune system. We talk about the lot, this a lot on these videos. Vitamins, minerals, giving them good fresh water. What are we doing some things? So there are some vitamins, vitamin D. In fact, one of the things that can happen as a result after a flock goes through some hepatitis is it can affect some bones, some, some bone density, some bone structure. So vitamin D is good. But basically, I think C, E, and D are some of the big vitamins that will actually help with this. So there is a preventative that we want to try to do. Building the immune system is what we're going to have to do. And honestly, it's something that we talk about a bunch. But basically, if you do the things that you're supposed to do, and I know sometimes it gets into... Uh, uh, drudgery and you wonder if it's even making a difference, but making sure that water's clean, making sure that they got a feed that they need, and sometimes you can't help when an integrator runs you low on feed, but getting them the nutrients. If your integrator provides a vitamin, then give it to them because that's about all you're going to do if your birds get hit with hepatitis. So, I hate to end this video on a bad note, but honestly, hepatitis is one of those things that's very limited at what you can do. But our whole goal in this is just maybe shed a little insight and might can help m make your job a little easier, a little more educated on how maybe you can deal with or don't get frustrated if you get something and you don't know how to deal with it. Hepatitis is just one of those things. So try to prevent, obviously, biosecurity, and get those vitamins and minerals. Big in-depth topic today. I don't know that I did it justice, but as always, I'm just trying to help any way we can. If anything else I can do for you, Feel free to give me a call, 1-800-608-3755, or reach out to me on my email, alan at southlandorganics.com. And take care of those livers. Hey, if this video was a help, be sure and hit the subscribe button, and even hit that like button. And also click on those notifications so when we put out some more videos, you'll be the first one to get it.